Time for heat three then of the Rockets that are the tag lights, the KA3 seniors and the one tag heavy cart of Cool Hand Luke. What can Ty do this time? Ty O'Neill would love to get after these uh, tag lights, but they are super quick. Brownie, Egan Fraser, and the Hammer. Hopefully, Chloe Lane is going to be on the fence line, giving uh, the Hammer some encouragement, because that was pretty good to see, with the Hammer giving Chloe a good old chunk of encouragement from the sideline and there was some happy dancing going on. So, Chloe, you better get to the fence line and encourage him. <laughs> Here we go then. Round they head. And have they changed Brownie's number? Yes, they have. Well done. So it is Brownie and Keegs Fraser off the front. The hammer off road. Oh, they're swapping round. <laughs> So Brown is on the pole and they just uh, swap themselves around. Keegan Fraser on the outside suicide. The Hammer's on the inside, second row. Alongside him, cool hand Luke Thomas and Ty O'Neill from the rear of the grid. What can Ty do with these cards? They are super fast in front of him. We're about to go green. Ten laps of racing. Heat three. Do we go green? Away we go. We are racing. Brownie, whoa, the Hammer trying to go with him. And oh, Brownie just got caught out. And Keith Fraser sneaks into the hole shot. Somehow, Brownie went from the inside to the outside. And King and Fraser just bolted. Oh, the hammer goes through the two. The hammer's just gone through the two. And Ty O'Neill is not. Oh, Ty O'Neill just bombed down then. Off of Feather Bend. Trying to stay with him, I'm sure he'll be watching his lap times to see whether he is competitive in KA3s. He may not be against these guys, because they are flying. The Hammer then holding P2. Brownie trying to stay with him. Through DPE they go. Heading on to JG Cart. Back they'll come through, wash it. Down the back straight, heading towards Cashies. Through they go, through Cashies. Oh, closing up there again. Brownie, whoa! The little love tap going into better bends because uh, the hammer slowed up way too much. And Brownie's with him. Continuing to stay with him. Now he's all over him. And guess what? Luke Thomas has also caught them. I reckon Luke should have taken the weight off and gone lights myself. He'd have had some fun with these guys. He went overweight, I reckon he would have had a good scrap. Luke Thomas is one fast carter, but meanwhile, Keegan Fraser leads the way. From the Hammer, Brownie, Cool Hand Luke, then Ty O'Neill. Ty, just going through the motions and making sure he's getting used to this circuit for sure for the States. Keegan Fraser doesn't need to get used to it. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, is he starting to dial it in. Round they go. Round pub. Heading down Simpkins towards DPE. Seven laps remaining, six when they come round next time. As Keegan Fraser is in unstoppable mode. Brownie, however, is trying to get P2 from the hammer. The hammer is hanging on, but Brown is trying to rustle it away. Can he wall? Oh, the hammer goes wide. Getting ragged, getting ragged. Brown, he saw it. Stays where he is. Doesn't go this time and stays there. Through they go, through the path. Cool hand loop. Chasing. Ty O'Neill goes into pub. Still the leaders, already all the way down into JG Khan. Look at this. Keegan Fraser is in a world of his own. And he's just gone in that flashy new arrow of his. The DPE sponsored number four is on rails. Oh, Brownie, Brownie, Brownie. Oh, nearly. They almost have a come together. Brownie almost gone through. The hammer held him. Whip 
catch up on him. Starting to really pressure the hammer. The hammer is going to feel it too. And Brownie is really starting to motor. Cool hand Luke. Can't quite stay with him. He's a heavy cut. The first tag light. Keegan Fraser way out front. The second two are battling it out. And still battling it out. Into Cassie's. Then on to Better Ben. Back towards me. Keegan Fraser. Leads the way. Still. Whoa. Closing. Closing. Brownie. Again. Pulls out wide. Not close enough though. What he needs to do is get a run off Wash It 2. Or off Pub like that. The hammer looks over the shoulder. Gets the head down underneath the NASA panel once more. Goes through, no lift. In DPE, hard on the brakes. Into JG. They go through, wash it. Now they head to Cassie's. Still the hammer holds him at bay. Still Keegan Fraser. Way out front. And already in the distance. Brownie! He's got him! Brownie's gone through. Securing the position, and this time he secured the position. The hammer closing, closing wall. Look at the closing speed of the hammer. Closing, still closing, not close enough. Do they go through JG? Now they head on to wash it past the grandstand. Here comes Cool Hand Luke Thomas behind him. Ty O'Neill goes through wash it now while underneath me. There goes Keegan Fraser. Keats through Power Republic. Then, there goes. The, whoa, he's dying again, Brownie! Oh, but he's gone wide. They're swapping. Corner after corner. So with two to go, these two haven't sorted it. And still, Brownie is behind once again. Through JG they go. The hammer holds him. Still he holds him, down towards Cassie's, will he get close enough for another move, as Keegan Fraser goes past, into all better bends again and again he's fast through there, once again he's right on him, will he have a go, in Cassie's, stays where he is, stays there, the last lap boogie board is out, Brownie is going to have to do it once again. I feel our better pens. You guys are not going to see this. We are from over here. This could be a little bit intense as they come to watch it. These two lock together once more. Will the move come? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, not close enough. Is he close enough? No, he's not. He didn't get it done. The hammer held him. Give it up for Ty O'Neill. Well done to them all. Of course, Ty wins his class and Luke Thomas wins his class. And it was one, two, three for the rest.